Why didn't any Asian empire take part in colonization despite being powerful as European empires? It's a cultural thing. Uh, the entirety of Asia, east of India, was essentially a land that was greatly influenced by Dharmic culture over the past 2000 years, right? And Dharmic culture is essentially uh, a benevolent culture. The concept of colonization is completely alien to it. So there is a difference between conquest and colonization. Conquest is you go and capture a territory that is not your own. You conquer it. Colonization is you destroy the land, destroy the culture, impose your own culture on them by force, and extract all their wealth and resources and enrich your country at their expense. That is colonization. That is what the Europeans believed in. It was a doctrine that was advocated by the uh, by the Vatican, by the, by the by the by the Catholic Church. They declared that any land that doesn't have Christians is uh, is called. Uh, what's the term? One second. Let me just. It's terra nullius, I think. Yeah, terra nullius. Terra nullius means uh, a land that has uh, that is owned by nobody. So if you if you if a European nation were to conquer a country whose whose inhabitants were not Christians, then that was considered to be by the church as land that is owned by nobody because those people who are not Christians are not are not deemed to be human beings. They are subhuman. So it was fair game for Christians to go and plunder such lands and kill any inhabitants, enslave them because they were not humans and to try and impose Christianity on them in order to uplift them, so to say. So that is the entire concept and the, and the moral justification, religious justification that drove European colonization of the world. So it justified colonization, it justified slavery, it justified genocide. There is no such justification in any Dharmic religion or even in any Asian polytheistic culture. This, this is just unacceptable in any of these cultures or moralities. And that's why Asian empires did conquer, but they never colonized, they never destroyed any, any culture, they did not impose a separate culture on the natives, then they did not pillage and plunder and extract wealth out of any other country. For example, we know that the Indians, the Cholas, conquered the whole of Southeast Asia and they did not ever take anything out of Southeast Asia. Right? There may be, have been maybe one or two recorded instances of, of a little bit of plunder here and there as a form of revenge against, against some king, but Overall, if you look at the large picture, India enriched these lands. India did not extract from these lands. And the number one rule was when you conquer a foreign land, you will never touch the civilian population. Never. That is the number one rule of ethics and morality and warfare in the, in the Dharmic world. So they would conquer the land, but they would never touch the civilian population who were allowed to continue living as they pleased, unimpeded as per their own way of life. And that is the re reason why the natives throughout Southeast Asia over time adopted Hinduism and later Buddhism because they deemed this culture to be superior. These guys conquered us and yet they let us live in peace and actually basically, so th th that's the thing, right? It is the mark of a superior culture that you, they, you have been able to conquer them and yet you did not molest them. You did not do any harm to them. So that is why Hinduism and Buddhism were adopted willingly across Southeast Asia and that's why they consider it to be their own culture today. They don't consider it to be a foreign culture or Indian culture. It is their own culture. So that explains why Asian empires did not ever take part in colonization. Now you do have examples in China, for example, where they did colonize lands and, and uh, devastate large parts of, of other countries from time to time. Because Chinese Confucian... See, China is was mostly a Dharmic country, but their emperors were never Buddhists. Their emperors always followed Confucianism, which is an atheistic uh, tradition. And it is all about... Uh, so they, they balanced two forces... Confucianism and legalism. So legalism is the hard and unbridled pursuit of power. 
Confucianism is a slightly tempered version of that. So these two forces were, were balanced, and the Chinese emperors only uh, believed in do, these two precepts. They never believed in any any. They never converted to Buddhism. They never adopted Buddhism, and that's why their rule has always been brutal. If you see the rule of most Chinese emperors, it's been quite brutal. And uh, so, so that's the story. So that is the overall reason why Asian empires did not indulge in colonization, despite being as powerful as European empires. Even the Mongols, they conquered, but they never colonized. Mongolia is not a massively rich country today. It's actually a reasonably poor country because they never extracted wealth from anywhere, despite having the greatest empire the world has ever seen in recorded history. Because they also were polytheists, later they became Buddhists, and such practices were just unacceptable. So I hope that answers your question why Asian empires did not take part in colonization despite being so powerful.